On January 19, 1844, a man named John C. Fremont attempted something that had never been done before, crossing the Sierra Nevada mountains in the dead of winter. Irving Stone describes it as the longest 70 miles in the history of exploration. Those who tried to cross the mountain suffered snow blindness, hypothermia, and near starvation. In the end, three men, Kit Carson, Broken Hand Fitzpatrick, and John C. Fremont made it over those mountains. And when they did, the last barrier to westward expansion was breached. The mountains were no longer impassable or impossible. I love the phrase that Irving Stone used to describe these men and this moment. It became the title of his book. He said, the men matched the mountains. Here's a thought. The obstacle is not the enemy. The obstacle is the way. In Zechariah 4, there's this moment when Zerubbabel is rebuilding the temple. He's staring at a heap of ruins and it seems impossible. But that's when he gets a word from God, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. Then it says, what are you mighty mountain? Before Zerubbabel, you will become level ground. At some point, you have to stop talking to God about your mountains and start talking to your mountains about God. You have to declare the goodness of God. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. You have to declare the favor of God. If God is for us, who can be against us? You have to declare the grace of God. Where sin abounds, grace does much more abound. All of us face mountains, mountains of anxiety or addiction, mountains of depression or fear or shame. You can't let that mountain intimidate you. At some point, enough is enough. Let me share a couple of thoughts. One, the obstacle is not the enemy. The obstacle is the way. That mountain is gonna make you a bigger person. You're gonna have a testimony on the other side. Two, whatever you tolerate will eventually dominate. What are you tolerating that is robbing God of His glory? What are you tolerating that is less than God's good, pleasing, and perfect will? What are you tolerating that is permissible but not beneficial? What are you tolerating that devalues the price Christ paid on the cross for your salvation, for your healing, for your deliverance? Stop tolerating second best. Start talking to that mountain and see what God does.